And this is 24 Terrible Hours with the F+. Plus. We are at hour nine? No, that can't be right. <laughs> are we at hour nine? Yeah, we are. Okay. It never yeah. ends. Okay, You're technically hour... dead, Lemon. We're at hour nine. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't doubt it. A uh, couple things right off the top. Uh, we are up to $2,275.34. Uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, all of your generous donations. Uh, it is, um, we're, we're pressing along. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep, yep. we're going to keep going. Uh, mm. Also, uh, before we get to any other matters, uh, Frank West, let me check in with you right now. Uh, I literally don't think this level, I can beat it. Like, it's just... I go through and then it just randomly throws a billion monsters and I die. So I'm trying to somehow, like, I literally don't have enough time to beat it at this point. Okay. Before three. So I am trying to cheat and replace level one right. with level six. All right. Well, Frank West is now going to be <laughs> hacking uh, Red Lake. Yeah. It's take your cheat milk. Yeah. So it's, then it's probably not going to work. Take your cheat milk. Oh, anyway, you you got you you can stream whatever the fuck you want. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on Gang Beast. Who gives a shit? It's fine. No, Frank West. I'm reading this, and it looks like you just need to find the bonfires. Have you tried that? <laughs> Have you not eaten any bad mushrooms? Frank West hasn't figured out how to play video games. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> that's that's the main thing I know about Frank West. Uh, I am joined uh, in this room with some friends of mine. I got Boots Rain Gear. Hi. I got Bunny Bread. Who the fuck are you? I got Jack Chick. Guten Tag. And new for this hour, we got Bump Girl. Hello. Hello. Hey. And um, hey so, so this document is... I'm just looking at this lovely picture, and it's just fucking lie. Yeah, yeah. Bump so this girl, document... you're the devil again. This document is a beast. Um, this is one that... Uh, <laughs> a hey, a hey, a this hey. This is... This document is a problem. Um, so uh, we've had these uh, we've had these uh, artists uh, joining us, uh, providing lovely drawings, and the rule has been that the artists would be drawing uh, whatever came to their minds uh, related to the things that we are reading. Uh, for I this don't hour, want anyone drawing a picture of them killing themselves. For this hour, uh, sanguinary. Don't spoil novel. this for the rest of us. Okay, let me do my intro, please. <laughs> for this so hour, you're a tad quiet. For this hour, uh, Sanguinary Novel is breaking from that convention, and we are going to be reading the Omegaverse. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Fuck! Hey, fuck! God damn it! Fuck! Hey, and fuck. Uh, Sanguinary Novel is going to be <laughs> drawing things that have no relation to the Omegaverse. <laughs> Flowers! So, <laughs> get ready for some terrific cognitive dissonance. Rainbows! <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So if, if Sanguinary drew things that actually represented things that we were seeing, uh, then bad, then, bad, then, bad, no, mad, then, no, then, mad. Then we would all go to jail. We would <laughs> yeah. all go to jail. I don't want to be here no more. All right, so uh, let's start off here. Uh, we're going to. Oh man, are we going to archive our own? Of course we are. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, no problem, no problem. We're going to archive of our own, and um, I think uh, Bump Girl wants to start us off here and tell us about Alphas, Betas, Omegas, a primer. Oh God! Oh God! Oh yeah. Oh god. I think we might have lost Don't Bunker. Go to your god. All Come on. Right. Face All this. All right. Uh Jack Chick, you seem the most excited about this. Why don't oh, you yeah, tell no, us real, real stoked fucking about this is Alpha's great. Bega a beta betas omegas a primer. All right. Teach us about frets. Yeah, so uh summary. A brief interlude showing the thirty six most likely impregnation options in an omega verse. This frat uh, is different than mine. <laughs> then the, yeah, yeah, it is. Then there's a then there's a chart that uh, I'm just gonna skip because fuck that. Yep. There are 36 pre potential pregnancy options between the characters in an Omegaverse. I've put them into a handy chart. The impregnated person who will be carrying the child in the chosen uterus equivalent or just plain uterus is on the left. The columns represent the potential impregnator slash sperm provider. As an oh, example, boy. As an example, oh beta females almost never impregnate anyone. Alpha males impregnate <laughs> anyone who has the uterus to be impregnated. Females <laughs> hardly ever impregnate anyone. Yeah. 
Terrible. Uh, well, uh, uh, bunny bread. This chart is only an estimate based on extensive research, by which I mean hitting up the alpha slash beta slash omega dynamics tag on AO3. It is not universal unpresented individuals are left off, as are trans star individuals. The best thing oh, about boy. the Omega verse is that the author makes all the decisions. There is an excellent Lord of the Rings RPS fic where an Alpha Sean Bean is impregnated by Alpha Viggo Mortensen. Right, right. <laughs> Look at that cute dog. That I, dog is so cute. <laughs> here's where I drink my gin. That dog looks like Sean Bean. However, you will see that the alpha male alpha male box has been labeled no. There are always exceptions to the rule, and this chart only represents the most likely options. Okay, uh, sounds great. Do you want to note? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I am still working on a full update with such exciting topics as scenting, biting, heat suppressants, and more. Ooh, and more. How exciting. I love more. <laughs> uh, bunny bread. Oh, no. oh, now we're going to omegaverse.livejournal.com. <laughs> <Yo. Shit. laughs> That's the best idea anyone's ever had. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I guess shit. I, yeah, let's go there and read all the things, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I just got. I'm just got a uh, couple questions here. So, what is I'm the not, omegaverse? I don't care. Uh, one sec. What, let me click things. Yeah, you have to prove that you're an adult. Oh, you're right, exactly. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I didn't open this in an incognito window, so this is just all in my browser history now. <laughs> all right, all right. So let me tell you about this this uh, Omegaverse, right? Ugh. Let me tell you about it in a cute little dog voice, because... <laughs> Christ. Yep. <sighs> no, don't use a dog voice. That's terrible. Well, dog voices are bad? All right, fine. Omegaverse is an offshoot of the Alpha Beta Omega AU. Started at the SPN Kick Meme. Hey! Tropes, nodding, bonding, claiming, and bragging, scenting, pheromones, heats, weak O'Carnal lust, animal traits, lady cocks, possessive, alpha, submissive, omegas, caretaking betas. Be still my beating fucking cool. heart. Hey, Bunny Bread, what are the common kinks in the Omegaverse? I'm glad you asked, because okay. my boner is hard. Mm. It shouldn't be. Brady it really heats. shouldn't be. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put that boner back down. Did I say my boner? I meant your boner. No, Brady absolutely. Hey, 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 hey. Boners. Don't, don't miss dueling words. words. No one goes to jail shoot. tonight. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. No one's dicks are involved in anything. Oh, okay. Good night. Whew. All right. Anyways. Brady Heats. Must have sex now, naughty. Bonding and breaks and kick caught in the air. Oh, my, these dove con, nah, con. Hard comfort rescue, sex large quantities. Oh, theme it, lubrication, brought they play. By the scruff and needy desperate summer, sensitive <laughs> dog. Now, pregnancy breeding, kink can't stay in a room. For a week, mating sex fest period. I'm off to jail now. Thanks, <laughs> lemon. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Anywho, so the term Omegaverse is variously capitalized and banged up. Uh, we've reached yeah, yeah, uh, $2,300 so in donations now. $2,300! You so much, F plus listeners. Uh, world building. Tell me about world building. God, I'm really so glad you're here. All right. Uh, one second. Oh, uh, Frank West, by the way, is skipping to the last level. He is now underneath the Red Lake. <laughs> and that is a cute kitten. All right. <clears throat> should, we, uh, should we go over to that? No. No, 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 world building. Let's take us away like, from all of this yeah. world building. Yeah, yeah sure. shit. Christ, have you ever, like, you it's know, really, yeah, loved I just something? had like a glimmer of hope for a second. Now it's all just gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> squash that. There is no single accepted set of rules. No, there's no single accept set of rules for stories written in the genre. But they okay. usually include strong themes of dominance and submission. Some stories will build alternate societal and cultural traditions, while others may be pretty similar to real life. Yes, every part of this is just like your real life. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah, that sounds like real life. Yeah. 
So, Some stories. Oh my God! Go wait, no, no, we have to actually go over Frank West now. What is going on? Oh, oh God! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do I do this? Okay. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, unmute, unmute yeah, the yeah, Frank West. Yeah, okay. There we go. We go. Back. Okay, good. Hi, Frank. All right. Okay, so this is definitely the. Um, hold on, I think I just broke it again. Okay. Well, second, why did it turn is, into a Commodore yeah, 64 like, game? You replace the this level is with definitely a Red Lake. <laughs> so this is this is the last level of Red Lake, and I don't know what you're talking about. It's definitely the last level of Red Lake. <laughs> For sure. Like, there's no way it's not. <laughs> you would it trick us now, Frank West, <laughs> would you? If this wasn't the last level of Red Lake, then I'd have to keep playing Red Lake, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is this is it. It's a I mean, drastic I don't know. departure from the previous level. So well, wow. <laughs> it looks so much yeah. better all of a sudden. It's definitely... It's, it's very much the, the same game, and uh, when, I, when I do it, it's fine. Man, the good. DLC for Red Lake is crazy. You know what? This nice. game started out pretty shitty, but now it looks kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. It's... it's weird how that happens. It's weird, it's weird that they backloaded this shit behind a bunch of like impossible to beat areas. Man, yeah. that new bird sure can't come. <laughs> He's underneath the Red Lake. <laughs> Look, I'm under the yeah, Red it's Lake. Red. It's here. It's red. It's fine. It's, it's red. It's really like... aquatic. Yeah, that's oh, really God. good. That's the, the, the twist ending that it's actually Fred Lake. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right well i'm so, i'm yeah. i'm so sorry that i'm about to say this out loud but hey let's go back to omegaverse no thanks <laughs> it's, it's red lake guys you're doing great good job with red lake no that's going that's going great uh congratulations on getting so good at red lake we'll check back with you soon um uh, so, uh, so, hey, oh, I don't want to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Uh, hey, Bunny Bread, what is nodding? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I was a Boy Scout, and I'm going to misinterpret what you said on purpose. Okie dokes. Okay. Uh, uh, shit. Wait, I used so, to play video games with someone who knew how to answer this question. I nodded. It was all about, like, dogs and, like, uh, how, like, the penises would, like, Shut up! <laughs> swollen, and it would stick inside the, uh, office. Everything you're saying is wrong! Hole of perhaps not choice. Okay, well, um. And it would be anywho, unable to be removed. Shut up! I think I learned this from gonna, Odd. Tell me this what is sick. Is? Oh, that, yeah, that Running. sounds like Odd. Nodding yeah, is an animal on. that trait. Oh God, damn it! Nodding right. is an animal trait taken from werewolf they use. Yep. There is an extra erectile tissue that uh, you know. I'm going to make this a little more pleasant for everyone. Okay. Great. Hi y'all. Nodding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Werewolf I use. <laughs> there is an extra erectile tissue at the base of an alpha's cock that slowly swells <laughs> as he or she, you know how girls like lady cocks. Yep, lady, lady bits. As he or she approaches orgasm, when the alpha comes, it thickens to prevent removing the cock from whatever the alpha's been fucking. It is, um, if that is an omega orifice, the knotting or tying together of the two for an extended period of time works to ensure conception. Uh, Most of the time, knotting causes multiple orgasms for both parties over a period of 10 or 45 fucking minutes, depending <laughs> on the Rider. Mm. But mm. when I mean say rider, I mean W-R-I-T-E-R or R-I-D-E-R. Now, if you don't mind detail anatomical oh, illustrations, the guide my, to the dissection my, of the my, dog dick my, has my. some bits on the bulbous glandus in real life in dog chapter Man. four. Fuck Christ, Jesus. Man, that whiskey looks really good right now. It's just <laughs> yeah. A, yeah, the whiskey has some nice comical features. <laughs> I didn't look. Uh, oh, look at that whiskey! <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, uh, um, uh, oh, god. Uh, boots, uh, mbop, it's uh, 2304. Oh, no, I already did that. Okay, never mind. That's not, you know, can't. Can abuse Sorry. this. No, you're absolutely right. We wouldn't we wouldn't want to uh, abuse the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh so bump girl <laughs> Ding. So bump girl. Uh I have a question here. Um and it is uh from uh somebody's live journal. And uh my question to you is how does ba how does Babby come out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
So wait, is this? Do I have to read? The... You gotta read this from the doc because well, it's okay. kind of a mess. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Let me do this. The same way from the is happening at Velvet Maze <laughs> because that's not a euphemism for anything. No, 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 no. So how does Babby come out? Ass birth. All no. the way, baby. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I just, let's, let's stop for just a sec. Let's stop for just a sec. Because birth. I'm seeing, I'm seeing in the stream birth. that uh, Frank West has beaten the uh, boss of Red Lake. Oh. So congratulations. Oh, yeah, he did it. The sub. Frank oh, West the beat sub the boss is like of the Red Omega, Lake. Right? Because they're the one that gets the I want to learn about whiskey, up. though. Uh, Frank West, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Did, yeah. congratulations. That sub was the boss. It's all yes. it's over and I'm done. Good and, job, um, Eaton. All right. Good job, Eaton Red Lake. We'll see you in half an hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ass birth. All the way. All the way. Here's my ace. Mm. Hey, that's why the kids got up there in the first place. Having two Madonnas. Has Asperth taken control of her? Yeah. Asperth because having two vaginas and one for insemination, which is why it has to be the ass and not the vagina, because you don't have two vaginas, you have an ass. Whoa. It's kind of better that we can barely hear it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Bumpker got the ass birthers. (laughs) <laughs> I'll be back. Oh. All, right. All right. Uh hey, Jack Chick. Yeah. What are some cool things to consider? <laughs> All righty. Well, you think cool, you think Omega Verse. <laughs> We're going to hey. Tumblr now. We're in the uh the Omega Verse head And what are some cool things to consider? Hey guys, I've got some cool things to consider in ABO universes. The types of visual advertisements showcasing Omega Suppressants wet pads, wet cups for leaking. Fuck. Cool. That's 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 cool. That's what comes to mind with cool. Categorizing the difference between birth control and suppression, so the social ignorance that comes from their stigmatism. <laughs> this is too wow, much cool. Super fun. <laughs> Not all alphas. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This is going places. Lemon, can you give me a gun? I would really like to shoot myself about now. I'm sorry, I don't have a gun. Continue. Because <laughs> if I did, I'd be dead first. <laughs> the pornography slash sex industry taking advantage of Omega heats and glorifying virginity. Y- but, what? Porn but, glorifies virginity? That's the one thing I've learned from porn. Yeah, <laughs> correct. But also independent om- alpha omega couples making home nodding videos for RedTube. <sighs> Beta's coming out as either trans omega or trans alpha. Asexual slash aromantic omegas having to deal with pushy alphas. <sighs> this one is all bold and all in caps, and I'm not fucking doing that. But Okie dokies. Polyamorous Omegas who bond with more than one Alpha. Way cool. Way yeah. cool. Cool. A- ABO Pride, mostly directed towards Omega and Beta rights and AAOO bonding. Betas <laughs> are the oppressed gender for not being special like Alpha's Omegas and historical Beta genocide. Beta infants getting abandoned in firehouses from Alpha and Omega coupling. What the fuck? OO and AA couples adopting these abandoned Betas. By gender and agender omega slash alphas. Congratulations. So those are some cool things to consider in ABO universes. Man, that was cool. I know. That was so cool. <laughs> um uh, okay, so then there's a whole bunch more uh pontificating. Hi. Uh <laughs> and uh oh hi Achilles Haley's. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I've entered the Omegaverse. Hey, Bump Girl! Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're playing the role of Bump Girl right now. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, Achilles Heelys, uh, uh-huh. welcome. So good to have you in here. And um, why don't you uh, go to... Ooh, I don't like this URL at all. Uh, why don't you go to lemonylemony.tumblr.com? Oh, will do. Great, thank you. All right. Well, uh, 
<laughs> Everyone knows that Omega Heat are uncontrollable, and Omegas go nuts and, are, and start with arousal, and Alphas are the only ones who can save him. Except that is a fallacy. As proven by many a clinical study that observed Omega-only communities and Alpha-only communities, and deduced that the Alphas <laughs> go into rut and trigger Omega Heats. What? <laughs> Alphas Everybody go out of their mind regardless of Omega presence, and that biology determined quantity over quality, making an Alpha ejaculate up to seven, several dozen times a day in short spurts. Think <laughs> Lion Main Drive. That yeah, means really shitty like fast that. sex. Like <laughs> a fallacy <laughs> that remains believed by everyone because it's an alpha-dominated world catered for alpha needs and alpha delusions. Everyone feeling good right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, good? absolutely. Good? Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, well, that's great because uh, do you guys want to know what happens um, if I... Um, uh, if when we combined uh, Omega Verse with MRA shit, yes. <laughs> um, okay. No. Yes. No. Yeah. So, That's so funny. this is PilgrimKitty.tumblr.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kitty sounds sounds fun though. It's yeah. Fun. Pilgrim it's Kitty fun sounds place. fucking yeah. Fun. Let's get us to Thanksgiving. Oh, we need another umbap. No. Oh, yeah. No. That's... I don't know. Never mind. I'm gonna stop saying that. I don't. All numbers are running together. I'm just so confused. Still the same number. There was, well, so yeah. ass ass J gave five dollars and said Guy Fieri ejaculation. <laughs> We're all better. Take you it. to Flavor Town. Levin, I feel like you're. I I feel like you're trying to stall here. I'm just looking at things. I'm just looking at other things. Why don't, why don't you? Why don't Why don't you read this this quality document that you're? One presenting? of my monitors is Omegaverse MRA shit, and other monitors aren't. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so here's some more Omegaverse meta. Betas invented dating. They also invented marriage. Fuck. Nowadays, in the time of political correctness and striving for gender equality, there are lots of alphas and omegas who date. It's also becoming common for alphas and omegas to get legally married and wear wedding rings. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Quotes inferred from the text. Traditional alpha dominance marriage. <laughs> uh, it's uh, okay so it's also becoming more common for betas to bite their spouse's neck during the honeymoon quote marking isn't just for alphas and omegas anymore is the trendy slogan a lot of betas repeat mm. uh, some alphas and omegas find this really distasteful you know distasteful mm. a word that exists in the world mm. they often say things like isn't it enough that betas make up 50% of the planet? They have to steal our mating rituals, too? There's a lot of betas. I, I just... Wait, what? Mm. Uh, werewolf in like this, and the Ragnog like this, the Wizard of Gaze like this, <laughs> and the Pilgrim Kitty like this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, like the the alpha beta really? omega in the in the context of omega verse, from my understanding, it doesn't refer to MRA shit. It refers to the something. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, thanks for clearing that I, up. We got like betas invented marriage and political correctness and all that stuff. So yeah, so <laughs> right. Well, see, it sort of works it's, both ways, I guess. It's no certainly dovetails. Saying it's not gross. <laughs> it's not. I don't know if that's what I said. <laughs> Uh, uh, we will not be reading... Oh, that's a happy woman. Uh, we will not be reading uh, any uh, fan fiction. However, we will be reading some uh, fanfic summaries. Uh, Boots, I'm going to draw your attention to page 10 of the documents. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you'll take the uh, summary... Uh, oh, for... I think Bump Girl has a problem I have to go fix. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it, I got it! <laughs> no, no, See you later! I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, Boots, uh, if you'll take the summary for Where There Is Darkness. Uh, yeah, Where There Is Darkness. By yeah, yeah, page 10. Alanduin. Uh, the fandoms... Uh, the... Oh, 
<laughs> D'Artagnan Romances, the Three that Musketeers a very series. Svelte Paula Dean right there. Uh, the oh, Three Musketeers dude. movie, 2014. Uh, summary. In the early years of Christianity, Omegas were declared the children of Spawn of Satan. As evil as the snake in Eden, sent to tempt alphas and betas in mortal sin and damnation, condemned to be burned at the stake, hundreds and thousands of Omegas were slain. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> then in the year 450 AD, the Pope changed the Papal Law. Those are the laws he changes. That's uh, the Three Musketeers. Five, Forty A.D. Six. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. uh, right. It, it's Disney. Yeah, uh, declaring that Omegas were not the children of the devil, nor were they the children of God. They were the inferior children of man, mindless, weak, and contemptible. Thus, Omegas were saved from being murdered in one breath and condemned <laughs> to an existence of slavery in another. Bitch. Yay! <laughs> I mean, yay. <laughs> But not as much yay as then they were all dying. Bitches. Now, over a thousand years on, there are those who fight against this ruling, who fight for the day when Omegas are once more freed from the bondage of a bygone bigotry and can live as equals with alphas and betas once more. That sounds... What a wonderful, what a wonderful, wonderful world. Hi, y'all! My name is this this here is brought to you by Fat Lock Old Fools, and uh, Mycroft never expected to be a statistic on teenage pregnancy, but now he's waiting out the clock and waiting for a baby he doesn't feel connected to be born. He doesn't feel connected to be doesn't feel connected to be born. You heard me. It I doesn't feel did. connected to to be born. <laughs> he doesn't feel connected to 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 be born. <laughs> The ice over his heart can only start to bright when their gardener's son makes a ball move, y'all. I hate that. Not enough beer in the world. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Hi, I have Hi. cravings by <laughs> Don and Gamgee. Mm. Um, my summary. It was a rare occurrence for two Omegas to breed each other, but it had happened. Sam was pregnant with Frodo's babies, and Frodo was pregnant with Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and since both hobbits were pregnant, Merry and Pippin had to take care of them. Ooh. That little gerbil loves that sunflower seed. <laughs> so into it. <laughs> Uh, my name is Don't Be a Zombie, and this is Empty Candus. Empty Campus. Uh, this is, ooh, this is Monsters, Inc. fan fiction. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> ooh. Okay. While in heat, Randall attracts a brutish alpha from Fear Tech. What will happen when Randy gets caught? Warnings. Graphic non-con slash mm. nodding. Kinks? Wait, just kinks? Warning, kinks? Okay. It's just it, you know, I, I get boners sometimes. Warning, Warning, this is a kinky Omega first yeah. thing. <laughs> no, it's it's a literal kink in the in the penis. Okay, oh. yeah, that makes sense. That makes Warning, sense. my boners get boners. <laughs> Not for the weak of heart or judgmental of mind. First Omega verse fic I have written, info inside. Boom, 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 boom. Um, oh, Hi, uh, wait, no, my name's no, Amber. No, no, what? No, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's, it's not your turn. Shit. <laughs> I've got uh, by definition by Ambrain Strain. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> it's, oh, this this is uh, World Wrestling Entertainment. Oh, good, 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 good. Fandom. Alpha Roman Reigns' life is flipped upside down when he required to marry a complete stranger, Beta Seth Rollins, as part of a family business deal. When an unusual Omega named Pup, the former John Moxley, is added to the mix, it not only shakes up Roman's life, but his entire worldview. Alpha Beta Omega. Now it's your turn. Oh, shit. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I missed Jack Chick. I'm so oh, sorry, shit. Jack Chick. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. I, I would have hated to skip you. That would have been No, terrible. I know. I felt I'm really so left, sorry. I'm so left sorry. out from 
God. getting to provide this high quality content to our listeners. Is Feel bad, Jack Chick. Yeah. So, uh, so should I just take the next one? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So this is word. this is perceive and observe things near and far. The fandoms are Sherlock TV and Gulliver's Travels. John of the Lilliputians, given his tiny size, knew he'd never be able to sail the high seas as he did wish. Even if as a beta, he hadn't been expected to stay home and provide for his sister's children, he looked up at the night sky and imagined finding a star to navigate by. While Sherlock of the Brogdingnags scorned such obligations to her sister Mycraft's growing brood, she scorned the court of the king. She turned her attentions to science. She lived her life largely alone in a tower looking at the light of the distant stars and was largely mocked for her ways. Now, one cold and winter clear night, when the stars seemed close and the moon hung so low that she actually reached up her hands to pluck it down, she gave a <laughs> weary laugh at her own ridiculousness. <clears throat> Everything in this world is relative, my dear moon. She wrote for hours and flung all that she knew into the sea. It was the sky that returned the answer. What a great summary. Yeah, that wasn't gross at all. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said a little effusions, and I thought it would get super gross. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure your story gets gross, but yeah. I felt kind of spared that time. Oh, no. Oh, I think I have it. Hello. My name is Bleach. Help me. I'm obsessed. Oh, boy. I don't okay. know if I can help you with that. Oh, goody. One, I'm a rice alcohol. What the fuck? Oh, no. It's a penis cutter again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the Hatalia and the Axis powers. Oh, good. Hatalia fanfic. Yay. Yeah, I, I touch myself a lot. A horn has blown on an official looking biter on Coral's a scroll. In this year's hunt, there are 52 Omegas and 93 Alphas competing. To remind all of the rules, I shall repeat them once more. All Omegas are allowed 10 minutes to run into the woods and hide. Omega verse, Alpha America, Omega Jesus Christ goes on in this some other slashes and female and China and all some other shit. <laughs> Buddy, I feel like you don't have respect for the source material. Why is fuck that? Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck the internet. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is Harmony Hut Mating by Egypt Advidaidos or something. All right. Well, What's the fandom? When's the hair started to get erections because of her alpha hormones? <laughs> Joel goes in the heat while he and Wednesday are stuck. And Harmony Hut, they end up mating. I don't know. A nice song. I didn't want to read that straight. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, Adam's family. Uh, I just want to mention uh, the next document that we have after this one. Totally fun. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm going to like it. Is that a chihuahua being drawn? Uh, I think it's a deer. It's a deer. Oh, it's a dick dick. Deer. It's a dick dick. Oh. <laughs> this dick that dick, dick kill, kills fascists. <laughs> <laughs> this dick dick is fun. Oh, no. <laughs> <That's more> dick dick. <laughs> oh no, the thing is fucking the dick dick behind it. No, nothing fucks. Nothing fucks. Nothing, nothing ever nothing, fucks. Not even dick dicks. Nothing fucks. Not even me. Hey, F plus. Here's a good. Uh, next one is Sherlock fandom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Don't gonna be say. fine. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Yay. This is called The Post Poltergeist in the Room, and it's by yeah. Fresny. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. So Jim yeah. met Sherlock, finally beside a swimming pool, and he, she, it, her, was a hermaphrodite, okay. a virgin hermaphrodite, yeah, yeah. studied and poked and prodded, but never in the way that dull, normal people were. No, of course not. No, she's normies. special and unique. <laughs> This was so unexpectedly delicious that he let Sherlock and Herm's little Omega pet live. 
led a merry chase up to the top of the building, and then denouement. Then death looked at Jim. We should go! <laughs> Shouldn't scream with that throat. <laughs> Jim wasn't going anywhere. He wanted to know what came next. What came next was complicated, but not unnecessarily so. Right. Oh, boy. boy. Almost. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Do you think poetry would be less terrifying? Maybe. Yeah, yeah do it. absolutely. Let's hold the shit out of this. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, fuck. Uh, who wants to do this poem? I yeah. Hear. Okay. Yeah, everyone. Who would I hear? All at once. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. All right. Boots has it. Has it. So, uh, Boots' mm -hmm. poem is called Strawberry Wine. <laughs> but uh, you need to tell me what your name is. No, my name is Livy. <laughs> it's Livy. Oops. Shit. My name is It's Livy. Livy. Oh, the dick dick is now into anti-fascist anti-activism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is a uh, uh, this is One Direction fandom. <laughs> oh, great. There's no great. such thing as great conscientious consumption under dick dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is no such thing as ethical fair, uh, ethical. Consumerism was Africa. Don't worry about it. Ethical, yeah, ethical consumption, anyway, under, ethical consumption under capitalism. Oh, there great. it is. Yeah. Anyways, Dick Dick. Song of the Hedgehog. This is a poem about how Harry met Lewis. It's Omega met Alpha. It gets kind of gooey. How one detention can change your life mm. after getting in one little fight. If you're willing to walk that fine line, you might find yourself enjoying the taste of strawberry wine. This is, by the way, One Direction fan fiction, in case you were wondering. Yeah, that was the, Oh, okay. That was the pre-poem poem. poem. Mm -hmm. Already. It's now the proper poem. Great. When I was 13, I presented as Omega to the letter. My mom hugged me tightly and promised me that things would get better. I didn't believe her conviction. I always knew that promise was a piece of fiction. Adjust my mic. All right, just uh, take a take however long you need. Just like yeah, make, no, really just, make sure that it's just sort of in the right no, area. Right I the when I was fourteen, I got pushed around the halls to stand up to the bullies. I just didn't have the balls. No one balls. came to my rescue to be my superhero. I was nothing. I was zero. Ooh, when I was fifteen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I punched one, I punched of, one my of my alpha bullies. bullies in the mouth. <laughs> I was sick of their shit beyond a doubt. I doled out the punishment I had earned, three weeks' detention to think about what I'd learned. I didn't regret it, not even a little. When mm -hmm. I was in detention, I met this boy named Lewis. For some odd reason, he started talking to me. Oh, okay, we've just ditched rhyming pairs altogether, good. Yeah. He leaned across the desk and gestured for me to come to him. He whispered in my ear, You want to get out of here? Mm -hmm. I let him take my hand in his head and lead me out the door. From the first moment I met him, I knew I wanted more. He had the biggest blue eyes. When he told me he was an alpha, I wasn't surprised. He had, this, he had this certain air about him. He <laughs> made me want to crawl inside his skin. When I was near his calming self, I felt protected and loved. I didn't need anything else. I needed him and all he offered. When I was six, when I was sixteen, <laughs> there it is. I yeah, invited there it him is. to my birthday. I thought for sure he wouldn't come, but then there he was with his hair in its normal disarray. Oh God, that's great meter, really good. Just... <laughs> he got hair. Yeah, there was fun and game and dancing. The fatal moment came when a boy named Channing. His Jam. name sounded fake and cheesy. The way he touched me made me kind of queasy. Lewis ripped his hands off in me. And out of this. He doesn't mm. want you to touch him like that. Oh, really? Is that a fact? Mm. I was as thankful as an Omega could be. I launched myself into his arms. The only place I felt safe and away from harm. These, these rhymes. <laughs> these are the mm. worst rhymes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sneak up on you. Arms and harm. Yeah, uh, from... Okay, you're right. They, they, uh, if he was yours, all you had to say was... All you had to do was say so. I figured it was something you should already know. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know he felt that way. 
Next thing I knew, his mouth was against mine. His lips tasted like cheap strawberry wine. Oh, it's getting gooey. They say your first time is supposed to suck, but mine was amazing. I guess I had a good streak of luck when I woke up the next morning wrapped in his embrace. All right. You know what? All right. All right. All right. All right. We got four. Wait, got... how does it end? We got for poorly. Poorly. It oh, ends very okay. poorly. <laughs> Uh, we got five minutes left. We might as well go for it. Um, so uh, this one's called Heated Positrons, <laughs> and oh. it is uh, Star Trek Omegaverse. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Bunny Bread, I'm just going to paste the uh, relevant section uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. into right. the chat there. <clears throat> Jean-Luc took a deep breath of the crook of Data's neck while still pounding and growled a deep baritone of sound from low in his chest. Data knew he reeked of his need to be knotted and filled with a new mate's hot seed. By the way, there's a nice little fox on the other thing, so go look at that. The heady taste of wild animalistic sex in the room was almost pliable on his tongue. It tasted of salty sweat, Chemical endorphins and Earl Grey tea. Oh, clever, clever. Yes. He felt dizzy with That's his hot. own lust and was sure that if Jean-Luc kept making him writhe just like he was going to lose himself <coughs> any minute, he felt gloriously claimed and thoroughly stretched with the rough push and the slick sucking pop of his captain's knot finally sliding home sent him toppling him over the edge <gasps> jetting stream after stream of jizz that amassed into a puddle <laughs> trapped between his belly and the smooth surface of the top of the work table still a fox <laughs> over there, Look over there. <laughs> no 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 now it's like a newsboy or something mm, oh i don't uh... maybe it's tom waits i'm not sure Probably. Being with Tasha hadn't prepared him for this. Her dick wasn't nearly as big. Not only was her alpha female penis yeah, no way exactly. You can't like pr pretend like that's a weird thing in Omega Pro. You're right. Yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> this... Oh, Christ. Oh. But Jean Luc's knot was massive. There was no way that a drop of what was going to be pumped into data was escaping once it was shot into him. Data's mouth fell open, uh, and the sound that sprang forth from his lips was caught somewhere between a mule and a screech. So we'll call it a... <laughs> his hand hit. scrambled out, trying to find purchase on the now slippery with cum desk, sending stray pads clattering on the floor. Wait, 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 wait. I thought the point of the nodding was that the cum wouldn't leave the receptacle. Come everywhere, dicks everywhere! He tried to stabilize his body from the jarring, stuck, erratic humping that Jean-Luc was still doing for what he knew was coming. Suddenly, a hot liquid burst filled his insides, coating his inner walls. Combined with his heat, the captain's cum felt like it was scalding its way up to his foam, star star. T. Earl Grey, hot, too. Jean Luc looked down at Data sitting in his lap, still stuck on his cock. <laughs> <laughs> what a comedy of errors. Mm. Suddenly, a teasing smirk crossed his face. No, computer, better make that shield instead. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's okay. Cheers. Ah, now sure. come. Okay. The replicator produced two chilled glasses, filled to the brim, and Jean-Luc passed one to Data, kissing his temple lightly as he did so. <sighs> yeah, oh, that's nice. Mm. So, about that shore leave you wanted, I think we all could use some, don't you? Their eyes met. The fire he saw reflected. <laughs> Refected started yeah. his flagging erection. No. Back to no. life. No. Yes, more! 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 No. And he felt Jean Luc inside no. him, growing no. to the challenge. I think that could be accept. Wait, uh, the data. It, what does he sound like? Uh, I think that could be acceptable, sir. Perfect, exactly that. Yeah. The captain laughed and fucked. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. 
we fucked a robot. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you uh, so much uh, for being here. That was uh, that was the Omega Verse section, and that means that uh, whatever might be ahead of us in life, and whatever might be ahead of us in our entire life. It will never be another Omega First section. Yeah. <laughs> so we know, we know that that's behind us, and that's yeah. uh, a welcome, welcome thought. Um, it, huge it, thank it yous. Uh, at your entrance, and you look down. Think, oh, sorry. Shh, nope. <laughs> uh, huge thank yous to Size T. Sean. Oh my God. Uh, huge thank yous to uh, Sanguinary Novel for uh, two delightful hours of drawing and making this uh, better. <laughs> and uh, all of you that have stuck with us uh, for the drawings, uh, up in the next section, we've got... Uh, we've got uh, Not Boots Rain Gear, we've got Lemon, we've got Bump Crow, we've got Frank West, we've got Storg, and we've got Zarla and our, our uh, artist for the hour, uh, will be trapped. So stick around. It's creepy pasta. It's going to be much better. Uh, thanks for donating. See you soon. <laughs>